Hi. Do you ever wonder how you will be able to make all the big decisions in your life after you turn 18? Join me today as we explore supported decision-making as an option to increase your future independence. Supported decision-making, or you may see the acronym SDM, is an approach that allows individuals with disabilities to make choices about their own lives with support from a team of people they choose. Instead of having a guardian make decisions for them, individuals under SDM select people they know and trust to be part of a support network or group to help with their decision-making. This approach can improve the self-determination independence, and dignity for individuals with disabilities because they have the ability to rely on themselves for their decision-making and choices. In supported decision-making, individuals with disabilities will ask for the support of family members, friends, or other trusted individuals to help them make or communicate decisions. These supporters help the person with a disability in gathering information, researching, and understanding options and making informed decisions that are right for the individual with a disability. The level of support can vary depending on the individual's needs and preferences, and the support network can be flexible and change over time. The people involved in supported decision-making are selected by the individual with a disability. They can be family members, friends, coworkers, or past or present providers who know and respect the individual's will and preferences. There are many different ways to identify and select the right supporters. However, the most important thing is that everyone knows that the supporters are there to answer questions, review options, and help the person with a disability make their own decisions, not make the decisions for them. Supported decision-making is recognized in the state of Kentucky. In fact, allowing individuals with disabilities to live their lives with the least restrictions as possible is the goal. However, Unlike many other states, Kentucky still does not have any enacted legislation at present. Legislation is not required to use supported decision-making. Anyone can still create the team and form the plan that is best suited for their individual needs. Supporting the rights and dignity of individuals with disabilities is gaining more momentum every day, and the legislation will catch up. Besides supported decision-making, other options for individuals with disabilities include guardianship and conservatorship. However, guardianship and conservatorship involve someone else making decisions for the person with a disability, which can limit their independence. It is also possible to use power of attorney for financial and healthcare needs. A power of attorney is a legal document where you grant someone the authority to act on your behalf. Whatever you decide to do, it is important to consider the individual's specific needs and circumstances when exploring the different options. Deciding if supported decision-making is right for you involves considering your own preferences, needs, and goals. It may be helpful to discuss your options with trusted individuals, such as family members, friends, or professionals who can provide guidance and support. Using resources like this workbook from the ACLU, to determine exactly how much support and assistance you will need is a necessary first step. Ultimately, the choice of whether to pursue supported decision-making is a personal one that should work with your values and aspirations for self-determination and independence. But do not make this decision lightly. Talk to the same trusted family members and friends before you make the decision. There are several resources available in Kentucky that can help you determine if supported decision-making is the right choice for you. Thank you for watching today. If you want to learn more about supported decision-making or would like information about other Kentucky resources, please contact us. We are here to help.